Unlike the world of Star Wars, this land may not be so very far away, but it is under attack by the dark side of Russia's war machine. Fortunately, the force is proving strong among a family, helping to save Ukrainian lives on the battlefield. This Ukrainian teenager is helping his father and mother design and build electro stretchers for Ukrainian forces. Their unique family production line, known as the Tank Bureau, has already sent 60 of the life-saving remote-controlled units to the front line, with plans for more. We need to grow our production. We want as many of these at the front line as possible, so that every unit, every company has one. I started producing our first series on my own at this businessman's workshop. Yolsey started to solder the electronic parts. I told him to look up on YouTube how to do it, and then for the first time in his life he took up a soldering iron and a programmer, and he managed to do it with great success. Two models are being produced, a lightweight foldable stretcher and a heavier duty tracked vehicle called a Termit, which stands for Tracked Modular Infantry Transporter. Not to be outdone by her older 14-year-old brother, his 10-year-old sister has learned to connect electrical parts and to make mechanical adjustments, while her mother fields a growing number of calls demanding more of the devices. At first, the children just assisted him. They assisted him quite a lot. He taught them everything. But when there was more and more work and we started to receive phone calls, he readdressed all calls to me because he didn't have time to answer them. His hands were busy all the time. A lot of soldiers are dying right now. We need to make a lot of rescue instruments so that less die or so that they don't die at all. This teenager may not be in the right galaxy to become a Jedi Knight, but his dream is a place at Ukraine's top technical university. There he hopes one day to push his skills to a whole new level and help achieve his father's vision of a battlefield where robotics are as widespread as first aid kits. Stuart Rumble, Forces News. Thanks for watching. For more from Forces News, like and subscribe to our channel.